Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and for today's coaching video is called Relationships That Move Too Fast. Now as many of you know these coaching videos is when one of you guys writes into me and if I think it's a question that will benefit my viewers I answer it in a video. And this particular question was actually a, a comment on one of my YouTube videos and it's a topic we really haven't covered yet so I figured it would be beneficial to bring it up now <laughs> so and in this comment I was gonna say email in this comment basically this guy has been with this girl for a couple of months and things were going awesome and but they were going a little fast and she, he met her family and all kinds of things and suddenly she started backing off and now she's saying that she really doesn't have time for a relationship and so naturally he's a little confused so I'm gonna go through his comment here and try to explain things to him and to you guys in case you're going through a similar issue but if you guys have any questions please feel free to send me an email all you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and shoot me a message from there. All I ask is that you keep your questions and messages to me rather short and to the point, just one to two paragraphs max, because otherwise I just don't have time to get through all of your questions. And I will get back to you right away. I do have to take care of my paying clients first, but if you're just a little patient, I usually get back to you in several days. But if you need to get in touch with me right away and you want to dive a little deeper into your issue, what I recommend you do is, again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the Coaching tab, and there I have several options for you to choose from. I have a couple of emergency coaching packages, and I have a couple of monthly coaching packages where I will work with you throughout the month to try to get whatever relationship you issue you're having and get you back on track. And just so you know, I will post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. So let's get on to his question here. He says, it's been four months and everything was perfect. She is a single mom of two and has a very demanding and stressful job. Our relationship was going very fast and blossoming. Well, I guarantee that that's the major part of the problem here is how fast your relationship was blossoming. He says, I met her whole family, even spent a weekend at her, at her mother's house. Her family loves me very much. Well, that's really fast. I mean, four months and you've already spent the weekend with her mothers. You met her family. They know you well enough that uh, they love you. I mean, that's moving pretty quick. But then about four to five weeks ago, things changed. She wasn't responding or talking to me as, as much or spending weekends with me anymore. Now she goes days without speaking or texting me, and I would see her at least once a week. Or I, I see her at least once a week. Well, what's really going on here is her attraction for you is dropping. I know that's a tough pill to swallow, but you know I'm just trying to be straight with you. Because there's no urgency for her to see you or to speak with you. If her attraction was high, she'd be doing everything that she could to see you or at the very least speak with you. He goes on here. A few days ago, she sent me a long text explaining she knows that she hasn't made time for me, but has been so busy with work and the kids and she's going to start her master's program as well and she just doesn't have time for a relationship anymore that's just an excuse dude she i mean she may very well believe that in her own head but the truth is that her attraction has dropped and like i just said if her attraction was high She'd figure out a way to see you. I mean, when women are in love and their attraction is high, they will move mountains in order to figure out a way to see the man that they love. And another thing is, you know, when women say that they're not ready for a relationship or they don't have time for one, 
I mean, this simply means that things are just moving way too fast for her. And, and what was once fun and exciting dating is starting, she's starting to feel the pressures of a real relationship now, which tells me that maybe you were pushing the relationship card just a little bit. He says, what I want to know is why all of the sudden? Well, it wasn't all of a sudden. I mean, it may seem like that to you, but she was more than likely giving signs that her attraction was dropping. I mean, when girls start pulling away like that, um, that's, that's a good sign that their attraction is dropping. It's not like that every time, but most of the time. And as I explained in my video, um, when your girl pulls away, do this. If you had pulled away when she pulled away, she probably would have came back. I don't know exactly how you are handling this, but I'm, I'm thinking that maybe when she pulled away a little bit that you started to, to panic a little bit, which is what most guys do. And when she did start giving you the signs, either you didn't notice or you didn't want to notice. And what I mean by that is you may have known a little bit in the back of your head, but you didn't really want to think that's what was going on. So you just kind of ignored it, which again is something many men do. She said she would sit down and talk, talk to me and yet still haven't weekend passed and haven't heard a word from her. Oh, I think what he's saying is that the weekend has passed and he still hasn't heard anything from her. He says she, she says she still loves me. I have gone into no contact. Good. Do I still have a chance or is she done seeing, or is she done seeing that she hasn't called or texted all weekend and that has never happened? By the way, you are the best. Love your videos. The way you explain comes so genuine and you really know what you're talking about. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. He says, please help. For your information, she said we need to talk but still haven't met to talk with me. So we haven't officially broke up or, or are we broken up? Well, I wouldn't say you're broken up yet, but... Um, Okay, here's the deal. What I believe is happening here is that she had a very high attraction for you right off the bat. I mean, if you guys were doing things together all the time, spending weekends together, she already introduced you to her family and it's already been four months. I mean, that's these are signs of either a very insecure girl or she was very into you. And she wanted to see you and talk to you as much as possible. And you went along with it because you were into her too. And there's nothing wrong with you being really into her, but as a man, it's really your job to lead the relationship. And when things go so fast like this and you go along with it, her attraction for you is going to start to burn out really quickly unless you start pumping the brakes a little bit. And as it stands right now, she more than more than likely she feels like she was kind of leading the relationship because you were kind of going along with things more than likely always being available to do things with her and not really resisting her when she wanted to talk to you or wanted to get together with you, which women despise in the long term. And don't get me wrong, I totally understand when you're really into a girl and she wants to see you, she wants to talk to you. I mean, you want it too. You want to see her. You want to get together as much as possible. It's totally understandable. But like I said, when things go too quickly, she starts to you know, feel the pressure of a real relationship, which is causing her to back off a little bit. So in the future, for something like this, you want to do everything in measured steps in order to give her just small doses of yourself, which means that you have to have some emotional self-control too, which can be difficult, especially when you're really into a girl. Because if you don't, she's going to start to read it like you have nothing else going on in life besides her, which is a turnoff to women. I mean, women want to be a complement to your life. They don't want to be the focus of it. So to answer your question, yes, you, you do still have a chance as long as her attraction for you hasn't completely evaporated. 
it really it doesn't sound like it has quite yet but i only know as much as you have shared here perhaps heading over to my coaching page and booking some coaching we could dive into it a little deeper and try to figure things out but for now this is really how you should handle it you want to continue with no contact and just let her come to you she said that she wanted to still sit down and talk with you that's fine let her reach out to you to make those arrangements don't call her up or text her saying well i thought you said you wanted to talk because you're just kind of pushing her and that's going to cause her to pull away again and when she does reach out to talk to you about breaking up and maybe she has changed her mind women are notorious for changing their mind so maybe she doesn't want to break up anymore obviously i can't say for sure but if she does want to break up what you want to do is you simply accept the breakup and you want to do it in a calm confident way and what i mean by that is <clears throat> don't get mad with her don't start blubbering i'm not saying that you would but you would be surprised how many guys actually do that so you just want to be calm and confident about the whole situation and you just want to tell her that you understand and that she should contact you if she has a change of heart and you do not want to try to convince her otherwise because that's only going to backfire it's going to cause her to pull away even more because she's going to sense that weakness and it's just going to cause her to be like ugh. and by you calmly accepting the breakup and telling her to contact you if she changes her mind is basically telling her that hey i'm cool with this it's your loss you're passing up on something great but hey if you change your mind the door's still open and you know maybe we could do something then and by handling it this way this is really a display of your emotional strength which is a very attractive quality to both men and women but especially women and you just continue to reassure her of your strength by letting go I know that's completely counterintuitive to what you think you should do and what you have probably learned through movies and TV and your family and friends, you know, saying, oh, you have to fight for her. You got to show her that you love her. Do not do that because it's only going to push her away. I know it sounds crazy, but just try this. Stay back and let her come to you. Because if you do chase for her or try to beg for another chance, it's only going to confirm to her that she is in charge of this relationship and, and that you need her to be happy and to feel validated. And again, that attitude is just women repellent. They're going to be like, ooh. I think it was uh, David D'Angelo David D'Angelo who called that the ooh factor. That's how women feel when you start acting weak around, around them. They're like, ooh. It totally repulses them so in the meantime all you want to do is after you start letting letting go it's going to be difficult at first but just continue on with your life focus on your goals focus on your passions be social go out with your buddies most importantly start dating other women because it's gonna not only is all this stuff gonna keep your mind distracted from her but it's gonna build your confidence and ultimately that's what she and any other woman is going to find very attractive about you so if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful i would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your f family and friends and i would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol that's next to it so you get real-time notifications of when i upload new videos and in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.